Let's talk about authentication. Authentication is a process where a user has to prove their identity in order to gain access, say to a certain application system, or they want to gain access to a certain resource, be it in an EIM or a CIM setting. But how does authentication work really if we were to break it down? A user tries to log in with a username and password, and then the system will look at the username and password already stored in the database and tries to match it and see if it is in fact who the user say they are. If you go back into pop culture, Open Sesame is the first password that you heard of from Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. But we all know what happened when that password was compromised. So we know that simple username and password just doesn't cut it anymore. Then came certain forms of biometrics that were used to gain access or a code that was given via an SMS or an email. This is what we call multi-factor authentication, using factors such as what you know, what you have and what you are in order to prove someone's authenticity. But even MFA had its own challenges, especially when it came to phishing attacks or it lacked a little bit in usability. Then came adaptive authentication, which was an evolved form of MFA, where a user's profile or attributes or their device or some of these analytics were used to prompt an authentication action. So the whole usability fact and the security part was kind of balanced out. Various identity and access management vendors out there provide authentication as a capability. But before choosing one for your organization, you have to ensure that it is high in usability, so your user has a really good experience, that it's high in security, so your users are protected while they are authenticating, and also you want to ensure that it complies with standards like FIDO2 for an example for more flexibility. If you want to learn more about authentication and other IT and access management concepts, check out the link in our description.